your broom. <laughs> right. And that van. <laughs> right, okay. One more time. And... Now. Good morning, pine mash lovers. I'm standing outside one of the most famous pine mash shops in London. Third generation run almonds where the pies are still made by hand to traditional and secret recipes. I bet you'd like to come in and see how it's done. And um, this is Roy Armand, co-owner of Armand's Pie Mash. Um, Roy, I wonder if you can tell us what you're doing here. Yeah, uh, at the moment we're, uh, we're just making a, a batch of pies and we're, we're starting off with the bottom dough. Uh, yeah. Bottom dough is made from dripping. Could we have a look in there before yeah. you? No worries. I'll pass it over the benefit of the camera. So that's uh, all the dough pieces, is it, for the top uh, of the... 72 pieces, yeah. we do 72 pieces of those, and we use the top pastry, which is here. We're going to divide that up now. Um, top pastry into the pan. And is there a difference in the constitution of the top pastry yeah, and top, bottom pastry? Top pastry is crispy. Uh, should be crispy, uh, which gives it a unique flavour, if you like. Uh, some pie shops are different. That's how we do ours. Um, this is suet based. I'm not going to tell you how we do it, don't mind it. Tray secret. <laughs> um, so 72 pieces, and then we uh, roll it out. And when you're doing maybe 2,000 pies a day, you don't want to be doing that by hand. So is the bottom pastry thicker than the top pastry? Then, if you're adjusting it. We, uh, no, they're probably about the same thickness, but uh, they're different weights, so that dictates on the side. And so also, when uh, pastry settles, when dough settles, it, it, what they call proves, the um, electricity goes out of it, the air goes out of it. And so you're there for all the time, you're, it's, a, it's, an eye, it's, a, it's an eye thing, I can judge how thick I want them on that gauge. Yeah, quite fast at doing that, aren't you? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Wayne, what are you doing? Uh, I'm putting the tops on the pies, making sure they're sealed, ready for cutting off. Okay. And this is done every day, fresh for customers each day, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's correct. Yes, okay. And who taught you your skill, Wayne? You've been here a long time, haven't uh, you? I'd have to say, boy, yeah. <laughs> the boss. Yeah. <laughs> Made a good teacher. You have to say that, otherwise he won't pay you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just interested in a minute to see how you even the pies up. Okay. Right, so now I see that you're trimming the pies off by hand. Um, do you have your own special knives or does anyone no, do the job? Our own knives. Some's got their names on it. Some's just marked them. What happens if someone else takes it by mistake? Uh, well, they get a slap on the wrist. Oh, okay. <laughs> and here we have Wayne making the liquor, the famous green liquor of parsley sauce. And there's fine art to it. Originally, it was made with eel juice, but that's not the case these days, no, is it? No, no, that's not the case now. And now we've come to Paul, who is uh, in charge of the ovens today, amongst making the pastry this morning and uh, endless other jobs that uh, he multitasked with. Um, Paul is our assistant um, bakehouse supervisor. And Paul, tell us what have you got in the oven today? First of all, thank you for the kind introduction. <laughs> um, in the oven we've got eight trays, maybe nine, yeah, nine trays pies. We've got food and kidney in the top tray, in the top oven, that's one tray, and we've got eight normal steak pies. Okay, and are they ready to come out yet? Maybe we can take a little look in yeah. there. Do let people see them on the uh, film. Wow, look at those. Really hot and steamy. <laughs> And is that all you make today, Paul? What, 
I tried. Is that it today? Uh, I wish to be quite a lot. I'll probably do this all day up until about half four five. Wow, that's fantastic. So, how old is this oven? Is it just well used or uh, um, is, it, is it quite old? I'm not sure. It's, yeah, I think it's many, many years old. I think it's older than more of this oven. Okay, And here we have Wayne, again multitasking, this yeah. time on mashing the potatoes. Yeah. So, does anything go into these potatoes, Wayne? Um, a bit of salt. All the salt goes in, and then we put it through the machine, this, the masher, like so. So, do you that. add any butter or milk or no, anything no like butter, that? No, no milk, nothing like that. Just straight through the machine. So, they're a nice, healthy option then? Yeah. And um, what type of potatoes do you use? Um, in theory, but uh, selected potatoes are more Piper usually. Is that because they mash better or? Um, yeah. Okay, now how many um, bags of potatoes would you prepare in a day? Like Saturday? Uh, I'd say about 15 uh, each day, depending yeah. on what day it is. That's great. Okay, we'll let you get on there then, okay. mate. Thank you. Uh, From kitchen to counter for three generations and almost 100 years. The moment you all look forward to and love. Perfection on a plate, not just any old pie mash, it's got to be Armand's pie mash. <laughs> 